Now, just a few years ago, while recovering from prostate cancer, Jeff Berryman started taking flying lessons. Now, aged 85 no less, he's fulfilled a long-held ambition to fly in a Spitfire, and he made the flight in honour of a Norwegian airman who was killed while piloting a Spitfire, paid for by the people of Stone in Staffordshire. Bob Hockenall reports. The distinctive sound of a Spitfire causes heads to turn skywards in stone. Looking down on his hometown, Jeff Berryman. Earlier, the aviation enthusiast had boarded the warplane in Northamptonshire. It was Jeff who organised the flight in honour of World War II pilot Carl Jacobson, a Norwegian killed in action flying the Spitfire the Star of Stone. The town funded the plane Jeff had invited the airman's relatives to see the spectacle. I think this is amazing that a person in England is doing this for us and invite the family from Norway to come to Stone and have a shot on the airplane. I have never seen a Spitfire before. After completing his commemorative flight, Jeff, who only took up flying in his 80s, returned to a hero's welcome in Stone. For Jeff, though, the real hero died over the channel 76 years ago. This is something worth remembering. There are not many towns which had their own Spitfire and their own pilot and their own squadron. And he was Norwegian, you see. And um, it's something that's worth remembering. But in particular, see, I mean, he died fighting for us. The fundraising campaign for Stone's very own Spitfire was coordinated from here, the Star Pub. And fittingly, the only painting of the aircraft hangs over the mantelpiece. Jeff says he was delighted to bring that history alive with his own special tribute. Bob Hocknell, BBC Midlands Today, Staffordshire. Lovely story, well done to Jeff. Some lovely blue skies.